G'day everyone, and welcome back. Today, I've got something kind of special, in my opinion. Oh, apologies about that uh, lag, it was a little bit of latency when I played this in-game. Now, the Georgia. I have been loving this ship of as of recently. And the main reason, I guess, for that would probably be the fact... I made a couple of captain build changes. Before I was running a pure secondary build, then I went to a full tank build, and now I've kind of got a bit of a hybrid. Secondaries, um, gun reload, and as you can see, the swift and silent skill. What does that mean for the Georgia? Well, if you pop speed boost and you're running the signal flag, when you're undetected in this thing, you can do about 44 knots. And, well, you can just see kind of what kind of mischief we can get up to when we just absolutely start to plow down into this enemy team. We are fighting tier 7s, so that makes things amazing for us. And I think when I was playing this, I just had completely had enough, and I was just shutting my brain off. And we were just like screw it let's just push and see what happens and i was not disappointed with how this turned out whatsoever so what we can see on this flank we've got so far we've got a florida and a katsuki a zara and alsace and there's enemy carrier right in the bank the georgia has been really quite a special ship to me and i've really really do love the tight dispersion of these guns as you can see they're only six barrels but when you hit half of them and doing like 11 12 thousand damage in a single salvo oh man it's it's something anyways now we're undetected we've popped our speed boost and just watch how quickly this thing accelerates now we've also got the command skill and i've forgotten what the name is Whenever enemy ships are within your secondary battery range, and your secondary is sort of, of course, firing, your gun reload improves. As you can see there, whilst the Katsuka was briefly detected, um, this still was activated, and I apologise, you don't actually need the secondary to fire, you just need somebody spotted within your detection range. And there we go, there's a good example there of the 457mm guns on this thing just completely and utterly overmatching the Florida's bow armor. It sucks to be a tier 7 ship at the moment, but this is why uh, the Georgia has also been absolutely fantastic. Anyways, we're going to try and sneak around and try and deal with this Akatsuki. We've loaded the high explosive, I've called for support from this Shiratsuyu, and we're going to go try and find him. However, fortunately for us, the Shiratsuyu, well, he gets uh, death struck by the Akatsuki. Which is, um, well, by the Shiratsuyu. Which is fantastic. We're just going to clear the barrels there of the high explosive, and here come the secondaries. And you'll notice we've got carrier planes coming, and the Georgia, it does have, not surprisingly, not bad AA. So you can just watch the plane kills just start to rack up very, very quickly on the side there. Yep. And there we go five planes instantly killed, none of those planes would make it back to the carrier. And there's the Zara. Poor little T7 ship, can we get a good salvo into him? That is the question. Looking for a good salvo, eh, a couple of overpens, but I mean hey, it's tier 7, it's not got much armor, what can you really do? Get smacked a little bit there because we're showing a bit of broadside to Florida, and you'll notice how close those torpedo bombs are to us. Means the carrier is still nearby. I can, and you can probably guess what's going to happen very, very soon when we do find this carrier. Slightly better salvo there against the Zara, but... And we just managed to turn it and actually dodge those torpedoes there from the Shikaku. Planes just keep absolutely melting as we can see. Another plane down and there's the Shikaku. Dude decides to go all the way to the corner just picked the wrong corner to go to and as we can see he's within secondary battery range and we're just gonna try and dodge this torpedo 
Unfortunately, we aimed, aimed a little bit too far behind him, but we still managed to get five hits into him. And now we're just going to try and close in, and we're just going to try and absolutely annihilate this dude before he can be much more of a pain in this game. Shots from the Zara are still coming in, however, we're just going to prioritize the Shikaku. Because, hey, he's the only one spotted at the moment, and B, if we can kill him, it makes our life so much easier. Another good 13,000 damage against him. The overmatch is amazing to have on this ship. As you can see, the AA is already working wonders once again. And do we dodge this? Don't dodge it, but he doesn't do too much damage to it. Only doing around 5k with that drop. No citadel, unfortunately. And here's the Shakaku. He's realized he's completely and utterly screwed up. He's trying to turn around. But it's going to it's a touch too late for that. And here comes his rocket attack planes. We're just trying to accelerate as quickly as we can, get within secondary battery range. And there's the skill has been activated again. Another faster, uh, well, reload improves, I think it's by 8%. And, well, we've got our main guns firing, we've got our secondaries absolutely just going up in the air item. And a glorious Citadel to end his in this match. Now we can completely focus our attention on towards trying to sink this Zara. This up. Put shots into this Alsace and help hopefully even uh, sink this Florida as well. Now we're still playing the tech because uh, he ahead. did manage to get one more squad of torpedoes bombers up in the air, but as you can see, because of all our anti aircraft firepower, he's only got two planes left from that squadron. Which does make things so much easier. We don't need to worry about, well, gain uh, drop continuously by a carrier anymore. And, well, we're now undetected. So we can absolutely chase down this Zara in his smoke screen at nearly 44 knots. <laughs> I think I wasn't running the um, speed flag for this one because I think I was out of them at the time. Wargaming, please give us signal flags back for achievements, please. Um, but either way, we're just going to try and absolutely bully this Florida. Five hits, but we aimed a fraction too high there and they all over penetrated. However... Zara is dying to. We're just chasing down the Zara, and as you can see, we're getting closer and closer to him. We're actually outrunning him here in this situation, and we're just going to try and get a salvo into him, lower him down, if not outright sink him. Shots go out. Unfortunately, they looked good, but the shots just went and kind of straddled the target. And now he's going to be within secondary battery range in a second, so we're going to actually focus on the Florida. Reason being, he's a bit further out, he's got a bit more HP, he's not within secondary battery range. So, with any luck we can shoot him, and then the Azuma gives us more outside. So we take a shot here at him, and do our best to score some Citadels. Shots are flying out there, in they come. Ah, unlucky, he managed to, he was a bit closer, so we aimed a fraction too high there. We're already 10 minutes into this game and we're already up to 110,000 damage. The Zara there on 917 hit points, we're going to just leave him to the secondaries and we're going to continue to try and focus down this Florida. AK on the Florida, overmatch, and he's dead. Now the secondaries are firing, can you get him? Beautiful. And that's a double strike achievement there. Oh, fantastic stuff. Georgia is honestly a, a fantastic ship. Now we've got a whole plethora of targets for us from this King George, the Alsace, the Azuma. However, none of them are really giving, giving us a fantastic broadside here. And as we can see, despite our best efforts in this game so far, the enemy team is actually still ahead of us on points at the moment. 415 to 378. And the Zara manages to get his last torpedo salvo against us, but just managed to dodge in time. And now we're actually getting focused out by the Suzuma. I think our sauce wants to join in the party very, very soon. So we've got to do our very best to actually disengage, turn away from these guys before we get absolutely uh, murdered. As we can see, our sauce is waiting for us to execute full turn. I see this a bit too late. I try and slow down to the turn in. I think we managed to get him to overlead just a fraction too much, so we only cop a 6k damage salvo rather than a 20k salvo. Engine boost deactivated. However, though, in this situation, he means he's forced 
us to turn back in towards him, and now we've got King George who's going to be burning us down along with the Azuma. The ship is on fire. This is not a great situation. Now we've got to work out how on earth we're going to get away from this situation and try and uh, keep living so we can keep putting as much firepower into these guys as possible. Azuma's going real nice and slow here, so we're just going to aim for him because we can very, very easily overmatch him because he's only got, what, 25mm of armor all over him. Not very, very much. We can hopefully get some damage against him. Unfortunately for us, he turns out and we only score an overpen in this situation here. Now we've committed to this full turn here, we've just got to hope we can angle in time against this Alsace, and I think we've, this is the point here where he's no longer going to citadel us or score massive damage. So, as we can see, here it comes the shots, he, he's going to pen the superstructure, however, it's not going to be nearly as punishing as before. Still 9k, however, fast uh, reloading heals of the Georgia allows us to start recovering some health. And we can just disengage away from those guys who are out of the detection range, and we can just start working a different angle against them. Calling focus fire then against the Yugamo, because killing a destroy is going to be absolutely amazing. It means our friendly shirt, so you could hopefully come in and actually secure the Bravo cap circle. And, well, just, uh, killing a destroyer just prevents torpedo threats, it stops them from getting spotting, and it's Engine just a win win for us. Azuma here looks like it's just going to sit stationary. However, I think we hold fire for a little bit and we're just going to accelerate as quickly as we can with the Georgia in towards the Bravo cap circle. Just waiting for the main guns to come around because if the Azuma just wants to keep sitting there in that kind of broadside situation, we're probably going to score some good damage if we can. And there's the very tight dispersion again of the Georgia as we saw there. The grouping of these shells is absolutely fantastic. And unfortunately for us, he turned out a little bit. Two ricochets, one pen, one over pen. Shots out from the Azuma. We've already started to slow down, and turn away, so he doesn't manage to hit us. And we've gone undetected once again. Open up against the Azuma. Waiting for those shots to land. And we shall see. Following him in. Do we get good damage? Yeah. That's a very, very good summer. Five hits from six guns at 18 and a half kilometers. Oh boy, the Georgia dispersion can be so fantastic sometimes. Alsace taking shots out against us. Let's see. And we're just waiting now. Shots out. Here they go. How much damage do we get against him? Eh, only one pen against him, not fantastic damage. And the King George is once again deciding, hey, I don't like you, let's try and burn you to the ground. Six minutes left in this game, and we've already got nearly 150,000 hit points worth of damage, which is a fantastic result. A double strike and a close quarters expert, although I always find that hilarious, a close quarters expert from 11 and a half kilometers away. Makes perfect sense in my opinion. The torpedoes there from the Shiritsu actually do look good against the Elsass, and we see the Yugamo pop up, so immediately we focus fire to him. We want to try and get the destroyer out of the game. Shots out, and well, the Saipan manages to get a good strike against him. The Elsass does spot the torpedoes, and I think he just dodges this one, unfortunately for us. However, we are now towards the center of the cap circle here. We've got two caps, they've got one. We're not too far behind, but still alright. We launch our spotter plane there just so we can get a bit better of an angle against this King George when we launch a salvo with him. And shots going out. Fortunately, pure straddles as he does accelerate in time. And now, well, Hippo is on 20k health. We see Kearsarge is on quite low HP. And the good thing about uh, the Kearsarge for us is we can completely and utterly overmatch the flight deck armor of that ship. So, if we do get hits into him, that would Engine be fantastic. However, the Alsace does actually manage to sink our line, and it, things are not looking great for us here. We're actually equal on ships here. They've got a superior amount of points. Sure, we've got two cap circles. Um, however, there is still four and a half minutes remaining. So, it'll be interesting to see how this one turns out. The zoom is going nice and slow for us, so we're going to try and get a salvo against him. He is starting to accelerate, but I'm not quite sure it's going to be in time. Shots are looking decent. 
unfortunately a little bit too high on our part, but that's fine. I think we're going to try again as he uh, runs into the border. And as we can see, the friendly Shiratsuyu's managed to sneak into the Charlie Cap. Fantastic stuff. So that's going to put a stall on their points, and we're going to try our very, very best to capture that and make up the points we've lost in this situation. Gear Sarge, as we can see all the way down there, the Saipan B is going to do his best to try and sink him. It should be an easy kill for him. The Hippo uh, is giving us flat broadside, so we got uh, fire salvo against him. Shots out, see how they go. He's trying to turn out. Unfortunately for him, we do manage to score a Citadel, and he's left on 173 health. All stations, Calling focus fire, fire against target. him now, we just want to try and secure the kill. Because we're still down on points despite what's happening though we will overtake very very shortly saipan b is calling us to get back but i but i'm pretty confident in this situation here and just for good measure we score a citadel against him and the camera kind of glitched up here a little bit for me so i was just trying to fix that and here we go zuma now we've got to just prioritize that with the secondaries and he looks like he's going to turn for us, so we're just going to wait. There we go, fire the salvo, see how this one goes. Shots out, here they come. 10,000 damage against him, which is amazing. Now, can we get our Kraken? That is the big question. It's no longer a case of if we're going to win, it's a case of if we are going to get our Kraken in time or not. Pop our final heal of the game here. Just going to focus down this King George because he's going to give us a perfect on Shots out. Any luck? There's the high caliber. There's Confederate achievement. Fantastic stuff. 191 and a half thousand damage. King George goes down. The Alsace is the last one left. Can we get him for our fifth kill for the game? Which would be amazing. He's on 9,500 HP left, we get a salvo against him, not the greatest, only one over pen because I didn't lead enough. Secondaries are absolutely blasting him down, we can see the Izumos taking shots at him there, there's shots for the Shiratsuyu coming out. He's on 3k, he's on 2.8k, he's 540, 333 HP. And the secondary is coming clutch for the final kill of the game. And here we are, the results of that Georgia game. Nearly 200,000 damage done. Confederate, Kraken, Double Strike, two close quarters experts, the Dreadnought achievement and the high caliber achievement for that really, really fun and enjoyable round. I mean, taking a look at the post game stats, they're 2,400 base experience. The Georgia really is just a fantastic ship. With that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy watching uh, this replay. If you did enjoy it, please give me a thumbs up. Um, any feedback, I really, really do appreciate it. If there's stuff you guys want me to show you next time, any particular ships that I may be working towards might have, let me know if there's a particular replay of a ship you want to see. Anyways, with that being said, I hope you guys have a good one, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.